Good day, everyone. Today, we will be discussing mathematics. Divisibility rules for 2, 5, and 10 to find the common factors of numbers. Together, let's make learning mathematics fun and easy. We can find the factors of large numbers mentally by using some divisibility rules for whole numbers. After going through this lesson, you are expected to use divisibility rules for 2, 5, and 10 to find the common factors of numbers. Learning Task 1 Give the first three multiples of the given numbers below. Two, four, six, eight, three, six, nine, twelve, five, ten. 15, 20, 6, 12, 18, 24, 8, 16, 24, 32. Learning Task 2 Answer the following questions with yes or no. Is 238 divisible by 2? The answer is yes. Is 660 divisible by 5? The answer is Yes. Is 530 divisible by 10? The answer is yes. Is 250 divisible by 5? The answer is yes. Is 100 divisible by 10? The answer is yes. Divisibility rules tells whether a number is exactly divisible by other numbers. This rule is a shortcut way to decide whether is exactly divisible without doing division computation. Numbers divisible by 2 if the number ends with 0, 2, 4, 6, and 8, it is divisible by 2. Examples, 178, 26, 78, 206, 54, 60. Numbers divisible by 5. If the number ends with 5 and 0, it is divisible by 5. Examples, 750, 350, 555, 865 Numbers divisible by 10 880 If the numbers ends with 0 and 10, it is divisible by 10 Examples 780, 210, 150, and 300 Learning Task 3 Copy the given table in your notebook. Put a check under each column to identify whether each number is divisibility by 2, 5, or 10. 548 is divisible by 2. 912 is divisible by 2. 
270 is divisible by 2, 5, and 10. 565 is divisible by 5. 168 is divisible by 2. Learning Task 4 Select appropriate numbers divisible by 2, 5, and 10. Divisible by 2 These are numbers that divisible by 2, divisible by 5, and divisible by 10. Thank you for watching. Till our next mathematics lesson. Goodbye.